Hi, good evening, everyone. Hi. 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 Today, we're going to record our group discussion six. And we have do some agreement last week where we're going to uh, do a review for Aladdin, which is a comedy genre. So first thing first, I need you all uh, to introduce yourself, starting from me. Hi, my name is Husna Sofia Binti Saleh. My metric number is 198638. So my next. name is Nurul Ainajwa Binti Roslai. Oh, sorry. My name is Nurul Ainajwa Binti Roslai. My metric number is 197880. My name is Afika Nadira Binti Zahari and my metric number is 196041. Hi, my name is Nurul Akila Abdul Raza and my matrix number is 192513. Hi, my name is Nur Ain Azira Binti Mohammed Dan and my matrix my matrix number is 193592. Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Nashabiga Anissa Binti Saifu Zamani and my matrix Hi, my name is Nur Ainu Shari Binti Mama Azhar and my matrix number is 198558. Hi, my name is Nuru Najia Binti Mama Saifuddin, uh, matrix number 201216. Hi, my name is Xu Jun Hao, my matrix number is 200189. Hi, my name is Huang Xiaoxing. My metric number is 204857. Are we all done introducing ourselves? Yes? Yes. yes I think. Yes. yes. Okay. So yes. now we're going to do some review for Aladdin movie. So who's going to start first? Uh, can someone volunteer to start first? Can I start first? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Aladdin movie is about family, romance, and musical movie. It released on 2019, right? And the first Aladdin movie is a comic movie in 1992. Aladdin is about a movie of young poor man who finds a lamb for a evil and ends up using the lamp for himself to be with Princess Jasmine. And what I love about Aladdin movie is about the visual are so beautiful and the costume design was so pretty and the royals in the movie look so colorful and shiny. That's what, that's made the movies was attractive and enjoyable. How about you guys? Okay, I agree with Akila. Uh, for me, the Aladdin movie is, is uh, different from others because uh, the first one is it has a colorful cinematography and then it may use a uh, green, green, um, green, they use green many, Green background, right? So, uh, it makes the movie looks really beautiful with their uniform, with their costume, and uh, the storyline is also quite interesting for those who never watched the animation one. I never watched the animation one because I don't know. Uh, maybe I don't like it, but this uh this movie, this new movie, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, I like to watch it uh, because it is so colorful and great movie for us. So how about you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay, I agree with you. I really love because 
um, fantasy, musical fantasy film, uh, funny movie for me. I'll write, I, I will read 10 over 10 for Aladdin. And I know people, some people we compare the real version uh, to the animated, we compare those two versions, uh, real version and animated version. But I think I love the real version uh, more because I love the actor and actress. I love uh, Will Smith, I love Mina Mason, I love uh, Naomi Scott. And I think they play their characters very well and they read their lines very well. And also I love all the songs in the movie. So I really love it. How about you guys? Okay, so for me, uh, to be honest, before watching the movie, uh, my expectation for other things is not very high now. So I think that is just a classic animation remake. Uh, but uh, after watching the movie, it's out of my expectation. Uh, so in my opinion, uh, just uh, watch through the ideas conveyed by the movie. Uh, it was, uh, how do you say, uh, for the other thing, uh, you know, uh, defeat the Jaffa. Uh, Jaffa, I'm, I'm not sure uh, his, yeah. his name. It's, it's uh, Jaffa. It's, yeah. Okay, Jaffa. Uh, it, it's defeat by himself. Uh, infinitely, the Jaffa will not uh, satisfy himself that is only the king of the Sudan, uh, and not, uh, but also the worst of the strongest wizard, but uh, constantly expanding become the next uh, genius and in his infinite greed and desire and spending a long time in the small place in the London. And uh, uh, at the same time, the other thing also complete self-redemption and recovered him, himself from his loss. And so the other things I want to uh, say that is the genie is film, uh, acted by the Will Smith. I think Will Smith is actually the my favorite uh, actor in the world, okay? So I think he, he uh, so uh, for for Will Smith, I think he gave me a lot of surprise in this film. It is quite uh, the the, uh, the characteristic he acted is the genius. It leaves me many interesting films. I think that it's make, maybe he is the only uh, things I will uh, follow. Uh, all, all the uh, through all the whole thing. Okay, so what about you guys? I okay. So I I agree with you because of the actor Will Smith. I just watched the film because of the actor, and also um I did watch the animation, the cartoon version back when I was little. But I forgot already, maybe, maybe because I, I think that the movie is mediocre, not, not good enough for me. But since we discussed, since we decided to review about Aladdin, so now, even though I've, I've then I've watched the movie and I believe why it is like the best. Because as you can see, the, the budget for doing the movie is just 183 million, but the box office, the revenue, um, reached 1 billion. So, and that makes the film becoming the ninth highest film of 2009. And I think it's interesting, uh, the, the storyline, the, the, what do we call that? Um, the song also. So, what about you guys? So basically, uh, for me, I love to, uh, I already watched the Aladdin, but I not watched the animation, I watched the, um, uh, the real human one. Uh, there are several uh, reasons why I love to watch Aladdin. The first one is the, 
uh, the song of the soundtrack, especially the uh, the music title especially by the Naomi Scott. It's actually a very good and motivated and full of motivation uh, songs that are uh, suitable to uh, to be to be heard by many types of I mean many uh, like uh, everyone suitable to hear that song. And for the second factor why I love to watch the Aladdin is because of the the way they are acting it like they are um, I, even though the Jaffa is is a bad, uh, I or we call it as antagonist, but uh, there's no uh, like like killing scene or some or maybe uh, we call that uh, scene that are appropriate for children to watch. So these uh, they are all of them are acting so lovely and so like uh, it's, it's kind of good acting and. Uh, yeah, something like that lah. Uh, and the last one is I love to watch it because of the character of the Princess Jasmine itself. When she, uh, she wants to prove to her dad that, uh, she, uh, that she can become the king of the Agrabah after, uh, after her dad. So that's uh, my opinion. So what about you guys? Okay, for me, uh, Aladdin has a good soundtrack. All the song is uh, very nice to hear. And I think the uniqueness for Aladdin is uh, Magic Carpet, right? Yeah. So, I think that Aladdin uh, character, I, no, no, Aladdin uniqueness is the uh, Magic Carpet because um, we never seen the other story seem like Aladdin. Okay, next. As for me, uh, I love this movie because it was funny and awesome and had great story. Uh, the storyline was great and can release our stress. It's not difficult to understand story. Uh, the song is very good. Uh, for this movie, I read 9 over 10. How about others? Uh, in my memory, I have watched it more than 10 times, I think, in my childhood, and uh, five of them are real life versions. And uh, I think um, the carpets, um, in, I like the carpets um, the most, uh, the best, because I think it it is, in magic and uh, is filled with technology. So I think, and um, the main reason why I watch it is because the princess, the princess called um, Jasmine, and she is brave and uh, very beautiful. So I love her very much. And I think the point of the movie is about Nine. Nine points. Okay, how about others? I would uh, 9.5 over 10. Me, I will uh, read 10 over 10. Yes, me too. I'll give 10 over 10. Mm, I think I read 6 over 10. Why? Why? Why so low? <laughs> because I don't, um, you know, I don't quite interested with that genre. Yeah. I watch because of Will Smith and also because we want to do this <laughs> review. <laughs> That's an honest opinion of you. Nice one. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, for me, for me um, 
uh, it was like I enjoy each and every bit of the whole new world. Okay, you know me, uh, me, Mina Masoud as an Aladdin is too adorable. He like justified the multi-faced character of Aladdin, a street rat who is forced to earn his living by thieving, a selfless, vulnerable guy, a trustworthy friend, and a true lover. But what I like the most about is Disney is like a paradigm shift in recent movies where it shows that the trend of female characters from dwelling on a bubble of romanticism to women who can earn their own position in the society of itself and not by the mercy of the uh, patriarchal society. Jasmine of the de of this decade can speak about their own men. It shows that you know women also have a power because you know we have o we have our own demand. Okay, they need no help of any man. They know what they want and how to get them. Jasmine, uh, which is Naomi Scott, okay, who is played the, the the Jasmine role. It's, I think is the best role and he fits really well in this movie and I think her position as a Jasmine as a as the heroine will be remembered in a long time and also the most powerful things that in the uh, in this movie is the soundtrack itself you know the the whole new world I think which um, the, the rating and also the viewers is also, is also high in 24 hours. I think it's, it was like they reached uh, a million viewers in a short time, uh, that kind of thing, you know? So it shows that the, the release of the song is a, power, in a, is a powerful way because Zayn Malik, right, is singing the song. You know, the, the fame that he brings we got uh he got the attention to people to hear and listen the song the, the soundtrack so based on the soundtrack itself um the production can attract people to to watch the movie okay, for those who are late to see the movie they can watch the movie uh, later because it was a kind of uh because of they listen to the to the soundtrack and from the soundtrack you know, he can bring other people to watch the, the movie. And I think it also thanks again to Disney. You know, Disney, Disney is like man, uh, many childhood memories of us, okay? And we have a childhood memories and gifting as a, like a magic carpet ride that uh, shows in the Aladdin movies and far away from lustrous reality for full two hours, you know? And I think it's, it is a must-watch movie for all 90s kids, you know? For those who are born in 90s, we at least, yeah, if we can, we can, at least we can tell our children that we have this kind of movies, uh, yeah, this generation. So, what about others? Any kind point of view, maybe others want to give more content and maybe like whatever. Or you guys want to sing, sing the soundtrack. Should we share our favorite scene? <laughs> favorite scene? Sure. I think for those who are confident with themselves can sing the song and we <laughs> We can, we can, we can just, just listen to that, yeah. <laughs> we have about, wow. maybe like five minutes. Uh, we have five minutes lagi, so maybe you guys can give more content or any opinion or maybe you guys can see the soundtrack, alright? Uh, uh, okay, I think in a movie, I like their yeah, French, I like Abu and... Aladdin, Abu, and the genius friendship, the genius, uh, the friendships between them. Because I always together, and the genie always help, uh, always help Aladdin, even though, uh, because uh, the genie is, the genie consider Aladdin as his friend. 
even though at first Aladdin is the one that rubbed the lamp, right? But I, I know the friendships. They are like so sweet. Yes, my point is same with you about Aladdin friendship. Okay, can we share a uh, moral of this story? Moral of the story is um, don't be uh, like, I mean, uh, don't trust people easily. Lah. Like, for example, for Aladdin, um, because uh, because of he trusts the Afar easily, so uh, at the end, the Afar betrayed, uh, betrayed him. So, Adis? Okay, lesson that I learned about this movie is we cannot be greedy. Like the the bad one. Who is his name? I don't remember. <laughs> ja uh, yes, Jaffa. He is so greedy, so he, uh, he become genie and then he, he will become a slave forever, right? So that's why we cannot be greedy. So how about others? Okay, in my opinion, based on the main character, I think women deserve to be heard and to be seen. And we can always do anything if we think the action is right and good for us. Mm -hmm. The last lesson that I learned, this movie taught us on apa, the friendship can be both good and also bad. Because the Sultan learned the hard way that we cannot trust our friends. We cannot trust with all of our all of our all of our heart. Because when Jafar when Jafar betray him, that's that shows that that is not a good friendship. However, Aladdin showed that true friendship really be, can be good when he set the genie free with his last wish. So, the conclusion, Aladdin chooses friendship over material possessions. Any other opinion? Uh, so for me, I want to talk about for other things. So uh, in the film, uh, the genie has give something. Uh, he makes him to be the fake prince. Uh, and then, so uh, at the end of the movie, he finally finds his real one. Uh, and he gained the friendship and the love with the kindness. So if you think about it uh, in, in deep, so another thing's journey is of uh, great critical significance for us. So when we face the wealth and the power, uh, we, will we uh, uh, like Aladdin or just face the wealth and power and you can stay the real one as you so let's uh it's give me a lot of thoughts so how about you guys <laughs> okay uh, okay i wish him uh, my opinion about this story uh more of the story so try do not be someone else. Just be yourself. It's better for you to be yourself than have to be pretend. Be true and live uh, your life with honesty. For me, um, what I want to say is that, you know, this movie is like a fantasy. So, in my opinion, I would like to say that never stop dreaming. Ever stop dreaming? Just gonna just be you, just be yourself, and in some way we can, you know, we can turn the 
you can, we can make the fantasy become reality. So let's pray and let's just be you, do you, for you. True.